had an affair with my friend, didn't you? What? The lawyer has the evidence photos, see? What? Photos from a hotel. Photos from a car? All of these are photos of your affair, see? Did you come here to confess to your sins? Shut the... Trouble Busters! My name is Alan. I'm 31 years old and in the biggest predicament of my life. Huh? Wait, is that true? Uh, no, we haven't been discovered. I didn't make any mistakes. Not to my knowledge, at least. No, 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 no. There's a chance you were caught, you know. Wait, someone's here. Let's keep in touch and meet again sometime soon. God damn it, bro. Why? Why did this happen? What on earth? No, 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 no. There's a chance you were caught, you know. What the? You had an affair with my friend, didn't you? W what? The lawyer has the evidence photos, see? And we shall demand a good deal of alimony since you committed legitimate adultery. I'll be demanding $30,000. Depending on how you act from here on out, not only will I make sure your parents find out, but your workplace, too. What are you talking about, Talia? There's no truth to that. I said we have all the photographic evidence we need. Enough running, you bastard. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, our office doesn't allow that, you see. Huh? Doesn't allow that? Indeed. What do you mean you don't allow that? The matter of waiting or not waiting does regard the law, and the lawyer is in charge of the decision. So if you say you're not going to wait... Then the law says that you aren't going to wait. I'm a legal professional, after all. Hey, uh, uh, let me use the bathroom real quick. We'll let ourselves in, just to make sure you can't frickin' run away. Talia, why would you do this? Because you frickin' cheated on me, stupid! But I didn't cheat on you. If you lie in my presence, sir, it could be presented as evidence for perjury, which will make everything more serious. I would advise against saying anything careless. Yes, that's how it is, so if you would be kind, thank you. Hello. Yeah, it seems like the opponents have also been taking some action. I haven't heard about how, but it seems like they read our actions somehow. Sorry, I gotta go back to the scene. Now, let's have you explain all this, you cowardly cuttlefish. There's no need for any explanation. I'm not cheating on you whatsoever. Listen to me. We have evidence disproving that. You are in an intimate relationship with a woman named Helen, who is a mutual friend of yours and my clients, is she not? Helen is a good friend of ours, that's true, but me being in a relationship with her is not the case. Oh, really? You're still denying it? Then what is this? <clears throat> what? Where did you find something like this? Call it a woman's intuition, and it was spot on on this occasion. Mr. Thompson, on my client's behalf, I shall demand a sum of $30,000 in alimony, 70% of the divided property, a lump sum of $1,000 for her immediate living expenses times 12 months' worth, and the full cost of the lawyer's fees. That will amount to a total of $50,000 plus the property division. $50,000 plus 70% of the property division? That's too much to take, isn't it? All things considered. From our perspective, sir, we're requesting the conventional compensation. I'm a woman, and in the case of an affair, it is too obvious for the woman to receive a larger amount of alimony. So if you were cheating on me, would it be okay for me to demand the same amount of money from you then? If you can prove that claim is true, then yes, I assume you can. <laughs> But there isn't any proof. I absolutely despise people who do that sort of shady, backstabbing behavior, as you very well know. Even if I think I would do it, my body and conscience will never accept it. They refuse it! I see. So you didn't do it then? Didn't do what? Adultery. I am nothing like you. There's no way I'd do something like that. Ah, I see. I hope those words hold true, through and through, until the very end. W what is with that bastard? D don't panic, honey. It's him that's cheating here. Hey, who the hell is this disgusting man? Hey, hey, now, no need to be disrespectful. Who says that straight to anyone's face? Are you a friend of Mr. Thompson's? 
I'm not a friend of his per se, but rather an ally. Yes, an ally. An ally? So you're willingly cooperating with someone who's committed adultery? <laughs> That's amazing. I wonder why men have such a light sense of guilt about a goddamn affair. Well, no matter how many allies you call here, the situation remains the same. That's right! We've obtained unmistakable evidence of your affair, Alan. So that's how it is? I must say, my good man, this is serious. It's getting to the point where there's no turning back. You admit defeat so easily? <laughs> what is this guy? What on earth did you come here to do? You're in a terrible position right now, Mr. Thompson. I understand that. They're running a court case right now as we speak, and the verdict is about to be decided. You understand? What? The, the verdict, verdict is, is about, about to, to be, be decided? decided? When the verdict is decided, it will be executed under the presence of a court bailiff. Executed by force. Executed by force? Yes, your assets will all be seized, at the very least, you see. So the trial is already started then? Yes, that's right. Bruh, a trial starting without my knowing about it is a huge drag. Shut up! Criminals like you don't have the right to refuse. Has the trial really started, ma'am? What? I haven't been told anything by the court, you see. Normally you'd get a notice or something in the mail, wouldn't you? Actually, uh, well, how about it, ma'am? What? <laughs> in fact, the trial hasn't even started yet. Oh, oh so, so it, it hasn't, hasn't started, started then. then. You're a lawyer, miss. I would appreciate it if you made things clearer than that. I may have just said that in a way that was a little misleading. You're simply an amateur. I would appreciate it if you didn't criticize me in my occupation. The trial hasn't actually started as of yet, but it's as though it's already started. What? It's as though it's already started? Please, be clear about that. Well, now, let's see. Hmm. Yes, the trial hasn't started. Yes, indeed. Well, <laughs> Ah, I can't take it anymore! I just cannot put up with this farce, bro! It ain't gonna happen! I can literally feel this is the moment I've finally lost all patience and love regarding my treasonous wife! Unforgivable! Trouble busters initiate! The conversation hasn't progressed at all despite the time we've spent on it, ladies. It's like we were walking on treadmills thinking we were outside. I won't tolerate any more criticism, thank you very much. If the trial is about to start, isn't it fine to simply have it decided by the court? What? That's an idea, my good man. A grand idea. Okay, I've decided we're going to settle this in the courthouse. What? Yup. Yep. Oh, no, no, sir. I've decided. No, 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 uh, that would be a problem, wouldn't it? Why would it be a problem? If it actually goes to court, um, the decision will go all the way to finalization and, well, um, so as of right now, Miss Thalia's opinion will be respected to the maximum extent, but once the trial begins, the judge's opinion is what will constitute the final decision rather than my client's. So you won't be able to come to a reasonable settlement with her, you see. If this goes to court, will the decision really go all the way to finalization? Of course. This is court that we're talking about. The lawsuit has already begun. <laughs> what? When did that happen? Yes, it's not surprising that you don't know about this. It's rare for ordinary citizens to understand the law enough to know the true definition of a lawsuit and its procedure. I see a lawsuit's underway, eh? Oh my goodness, my sincerest apologies. I haven't introduced myself yet. Here's my card, ladies. What? I this is... You haven't filed a lawsuit yet, have you? Now I'll pretend I never heard what you said. What are you keeping quiet about, Riley? You know a lot about this, right? What say you, Miss Riley? <laughs> You still had more photographic evidence, Riley? Why bother fighting when you have zero chance of winning? I'll definitely get additional evidence siphoned out of you. With these photos, are you sure? What? These are all photos of your affair, you know. Photos from a hotel? Photos from a car? Uh, please, uh, that's enough. These photos are different from the previous photos, for they seem to be real. Yes. Shut the... 
No. Hey, wait, you're my lawyer, aren't you? Maybe I could have gotten something done if it was Alan that I was talking to. But if the real deal comes, Thalia, there's nothing I can do. You traitor! Because anything I do or say won't work against the real deal, Thalia. But still, you betray me so early? That ain't a good enough reason. Huh? Who do you think you are, Thalia? You're a person who would betray people if it meant satisfying your own selfish desires. Don't say defaming things about me. Even you said you admired the concept of forbidden love, didn't you? But I only admired the concept. I never said I'd do it. And now that I think about it, I never would. I'm nothing like you. Anyway, since you accepted the job of being my lawyer, you're also involved in this straight up. That's why I'm handing over photographic evidence over to them as a gift to get myself off the hook. You bitch! You, you traitor! These photos were sent to me by my friend Thalia to show me how much she loved her lover. And every single one of them is real, gentlemen. Bullshit! All of these are composite photos, too. If you must know. All of these, too? Huh? So you're admitting that the photos you prepared were composites, too, are you not? Wh what are you talking about? The photos we prepared against you are all real. True, this photo of me talking to Helen at a family restaurant is real, but the other photo is completely photoshopped, isn't it? Excuse me? Don't you dare deny you're holding hands like you're so much in love. No, 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 look closely. Both of their hands are in a fist. Isn't it impossible for our hands to be in a fist like that given the apparent circumstances? But that's the way it was when the photo was taken. There's nothing we can do about it. We could even hire some experts to deliberate on their authenticity. God damn it, you're cheating on me. You're, you're cheating on me. No, you are, aren't you, Talia? No, I'm not. I'm not cheating on you. Then how do you explain these photos? And how do you explain these photos? This photo at the family restaurant, the shot depicts the time Helen and I found out that both our partners were cheating on each other, and we were discussing how to proceed with legal matters in the coming weeks. Shit. As a matter of fact, this man is indeed Helen's husband. This is just him giving me a ride home. Your faces are awfully close together, like you're being all lovey-dovey and affectionate, huh? That only makes it look like we're lovey-dovey. Uh, this woman is lying. You betray me forevermore! Are you kidding me? Forevermore? What's all that nonsense? Your vocabulary is so refined, ma'am, it's insane! I thought something like this might happen, so I've taken the liberty of printing out our conversations via text. Ain't no way you prepared this well in the event things don't go our way. You were so ready to betray me when it all came down to it then? Of course, in the end I am the attractive one after all. Traitor, traitor, traitor! Oh, so you can betray your husband, but I can't freaking betray you? What makes you so confident to say that after taking my money? I'll give it back, fair and square. So we'll all just have to accept that I was never involved in this whole disaster. Hey now, you can't be serious about running off. Of course I am. I'd rather eat snails than get involved in this goddamn nonsense, Mr. Thompson. Uh, Mr. Mulligan, I am so sorry about this. Hmm, your judgment will come later, demon. Attempting to impersonate a lawyer to deceive someone will not go by unnoticed. Just you wait, you witch. Traitor! No, no who, who are you, are you to, to say, to say that? that? Uh, uh, Alan, listen to me. Uh, this isn't what it looks like. At first glance, it may seem like I'm cheating, but in reality, I'm not. Nah, no matter how you look at it, this is definitely an affair. It looks like it is, for real. Photographs are so scary, aren't they? Yes, yes, I get it. It's so scary. Still gonna be stubborn, are ya? All right, let's do it. W w what Why? Even without the generous gift from your lawyer, Thalia, we were right in the midst of gathering evidence against you ourselves. We were just about to send a letter of content to you, actually. What? Today was actually the very day Helen, Mr. Mulligan, and I were going to meet to corner you and Mitch. And then you barged into the house at the right moment. 
It was an emergency, so I unfortunately didn't have the time to change into a suit before hightailing it over here. I, I, I was wondering why you didn't look like any conventional lawyer. Oh, but on the other hand, it might have been convenient. Thanks to that, we were able to confirm that you'd fabricated an affair on my part to unfairly obtain alimony, which increased the number of crimes you committed. Well said, senor. Not calling yourself a lawyer beforehand is fraud. No, I was simply late in introducing myself. That doesn't mean I didn't state my name and occupation. And I see my card in your hand right as we speak. But because it was so late, Riley and I went on with our plans. That's your own fault, ma'am. You were in the wrong for failing to stop what you were doing, right? No, I'm not. That's bullshit. Even if your lawyer hadn't come, do you honestly think I could have successfully deceived you? Yes. I'm so shocked. So you've been thinking that I was that kind of woman, weren't you, Alan? Turns out I was right in the end since you still tried to. $30,000 in alimony, 70% of the divided property, a lump sum of $1,000 for her immediate living expenses times 12 months worth, and the full cost of the lawyer's fees for a total of $50,000 plus property division. That's what you demanded from me. <laughs> How greedy! And you're demanding all that after you've fabricated this nonsense about Alan cheating on you! No, it was all a joke! Oh, one more thing. I also said something like this, didn't I? If you were cheating on me, would it be okay for me to demand the same amount of money from you then? If you can prove that claim is true, then yes, I assume you can. Well? Uh... Excellente! Then we launch a counterattack in the form of demands of $30,000 in alimony, 70% of the divided property, a lump sum of $1,000 for... Yeah, I guess that ain't happening. But the full cost of the lawyer's fees is very doable. Awesome! That should amount to about 40 grand then. Thanks to that generous idiot over yonder. Uh, no, 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 that was all Riley's, uh, my fake lawyer arranged it so that it would amount to that. Whether you were manipulated or not doesn't freaking matter. But it's a very important thing. I love you, Alan. If you love me, then why would you do something like this, huh? Cheating on me for real? Diabolical. But that was because you... In the end, it doesn't change the fact that you ended up fabricating an affair on my part and unjustly demanding alimony. I'm telling you, that's... Regarding what was decided and the actions that had been taken, you were involved in them. No, I was... That was Riley's. It was of your will, though. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. What do you mean, no, it's not? You promised to marry your lover, right? No, please! Our divorce is final. Now you can get married or do whatever you want with your life. You think of me as nothing more than a dirty, cheating wife, I suppose. Of course! But that's just a misunderstanding. There's no misunderstanding anywhere. Just look at this sheer abundance of photographic evidence against you. I understand how you can make that misunderstanding. It's not a misunderstanding. Just look at the reality. You just don't understand anything. <laughs> Do you even realize how exactly I felt when I was with another man? D don't tell me, bro. I could already hear the words. I... Here it freaking comes. Even if it wasn't you, even if I wasn't connected to you, I always thought I was sleeping in your arms. <laughs> the legendary template produced by minds high up in the clouds. <laughs> what do you mean you thought you were sleeping in his arms? You and Alan were living together, so you ought to feel free to actually sleep in his arms, right? It was so painful because I couldn't do that. Why would you hurt yourself more then? You're the only one I love. Let's start again. Uh, I refuse. I'll make amends. I'll always be by your side from now on. I'll forget about that man too. 
No, N stop it. Bro, what the hell is going on? Even after all this, she's acting like she's somewhere between apologizing and trying to one-up the hell out of me. Not to mention... And I was lonely! She's been lining every single one of all the stereotypical excuses of a cheating woman. I have a recording of you telling your lover that you don't want to talk to me as much as possible. But even so, it's always been you and you only that I love. So you're capable of having an affair and doing unspeakable things with a man you don't love, huh? I'll never do it again. It's not a question of whether you'll do it in the future or not. What's important is that you did it once. I'll make any amount of amends necessary. Then break up with me, please. I just don't want to get divorced. I don't want to continue on like this. Don't leave me all alone. You have your lover, don't you? You'll be fine. So you don't care if I disappear from this world? So you feel that way, and yet you still cheat on me. That's honestly amazing. <laughs> amazing! 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 I never thought something so spectacularly pathetic as hearing the excuses of a cheating woman would happen right in front of my eyes, I'll be honest. So goddamn pathetic. I feel so heavy-hearted about telling your parents about this, not to mention my own. What? You'll tell them? Naturally! Why did you think he wouldn't, ma'am? We're getting divorced and cutting off all ties, so it's bound to be publicly known eventually. If we just go back to the way things were as if nothing had happened, there won't be a problem. A kind world with no alimony demands, no parents finding out, no property division. A kind world! Only for you, you mean? Reality is merciless and cruel at times, to say the least. And the person who understood that firsthand is Alan Thompson. Oh. Now it's your turn. A three-piece set of punishments including payments of alimony, divided property, and lawyers' salaries. In addition, we have one more greasy penalty left to take care of. One more? A greasy penalty? Attempted fraud. Huh? Fraud? But that's attempted, right? Since I couldn't get the job done. That's a crappy excuse even at this point in the argument. I'll tell you this, even attempted fraud can be regarded as a criminal offense. Punishments include a period of probation without fines and prison sentences, so a criminal record will be gifted to you without fail. No way. So then I'll be separated from Alan, and on top of that, my money will be taken and I'll be a full-fledged criminal? Brilliant, Holmes. Why? All things considered, that's too harsh. No, it isn't. What you did yourself is coming back to you, and that's called karma. You naturally get the retribution you deserve. Please forgive me. I'll change myself, I swear. I wish people could replace personalities permanently in a snap like you would replace an empty ink container in a printing machine. I'm the only one who can make you happy. And that's just your delusional thinking. One who betrays another once will betray again without fail. How can I convey my feelings to you? I want you to focus on responding to my feelings, not on telling me how you feel. <laughs> respond? My only hope is a divorce. All you have to do now is to silently swallow my request without a singular sound of complaining or whining, pack up as much of your portable belongings quickly, and leave these premises. Mitch told me I was beautiful and that took control of me. Is that so? It is so, and yet you just let me have my own life. That's still not a good reason to have an affair, even if that was true. I am telling you, I am so sorry. You seem to be too busy thinking about what to do with yourself in the future, but don't you dare forget that you destroyed two families. Two families? So mine with you and my mom and dad's? Why the hell do your parents come into the picture here? Uh... The second family is Helen's, alongside her husband's. And they have a son and daughter. 
You're destroying innocent children. Over what? Because Mitch told me I was beautiful? I was lonely? You acted carelessly and short-sightedly with these reasons in mind and made everyone involved in this fiasco unhappy. But I had a casual relationship with him. He prioritized things like family events and stuff. Why do I gotta tell you it's not that kind of problem? I'll never cheat on you again. I won't leave the house and I'll make it so that you can look at my phone whenever you want, please. I can't do it. We can't live together anymore. Get out. Oh, Al Alan. Get out of my sight. Uh, I love you. What the hell are you saying, huh? If you really loved me, there's no way you'd cheat on me. The next day, Talia immediately urged Mitch, her lover, and coincidentally Helen's husband, to break up with his wife, get together with her, and take responsibility, which caused a commotion in Helen's house. When she realized that was impossible, she started crying and came to my front door, begging that she wanted to start over with me again. It was horrible and disgusting, so I called the police to take her away. After that, Talia never ceased calling me, emailing me, urging me to get back together. But I wouldn't have any of it, and I took action. 30 grand in alimony and additional expenses for my lawyer, the total amount of money that I demanded from her was $48,000. The deciding factor as evidence for getting this much was a recording of her saying, if you can prove that claim is true, then yes. This clearly stated her willingness to pay if she had been caught cheating. Thalia was kicked out of my family and pushed away by her lover, she apparently returned to her parents' house, but she was severely criticized by her parents and felt very isolated. But she is still able to survive by working part-time. If you don't like this way of living, you're welcome to leave any time. Don't think that a person with no work experience, zero career, and a criminal record can live alone decently well in society. Her phone is one designed for kids, and she has the freedom to use a mere $20 per month. It'll be difficult for her to meet other men to potentially marry in the future. Helen also gave her husband a heavy punishment of $30,000 alimony, half of the divided assets, and $800 per month in child support. And in the end, a properly filed lawsuit was made against Riley, who had impersonated a lawyer based on the recording data, and was given a punishment appropriate to the crimes she committed. Meanwhile, I kept in contact with Helen, who had suffered the same trauma as I did, and was relieved she had recovered from the incident. We met from time to time since then, and to encourage each other, as a result of our hangouts, Helen's children have taken a liking to me. And I've been thinking lately that it might not be so bad. We're both people who have been hurt in the past, but I think we could make things work. It shouldn't be too late to wait until her feelings, my own, and those of our families become solid and unchanging. Patience, Alan. Troublebusters.